I think it's been crucial that we've got out, used this deployed kit, um, improved their dental fitness so that when they deploy, they're less likely to have any niggles from their teeth and they can focus on the job in hand. So this is an example of um, the dental setup that we have here. So we've got two dental surgeries and we've got one sterilisation area. It takes us about a week to get this fully set up and then we're ready to go and see patients. Um, we'll go in now and have a look at all the deployed kits. The patients would come in this way, um, they take a seat here, there'd be myself the dentist and one dental nurse and then we've got all the deployed kits here. Everything that we would have in a normal dental centre we have here we can do all the treatment that we need for our patients here. And what sort of treatments have you been doing over the last year? So we've been doing a wide range from dental checkups all the way through to fillings, extractions, root canals, anything that we can do in a normal dental centre we can do here with the deployed kit. Were you surprised at how many patients came through the doors? Um, so we have had some backlog with COVID. Um, there has been a reduction in the amount of dentistry that we've been able to do this year with the restrictions. So there have been some quite long waiting lists. We knew how long those waiting lists were, so we knew to expect to be busy. Um, but it's been really good. The uptake has been great, and we've seen a lot of different patients come through for us. This is the first time since Iraq and Afghanistan that the need for field dentistry has been required. So for many in the dental corps, putting this experience to the test has been valuable training. I think this is an immense step forward for Forces Dentistry. It proves the agility and flexibility of my personnel in the corps, but also the fact is that we, we are um, an occupational service prepared to step out um, and do something a bit different in order to, to provide the aim of providing, providing care for our forces. This year also marks 100 years of the Army Dental Corps, so to be able to provide this type of facility and help to increase oral health for soldiers across Great Britain, it's certainly one to remember. What we've been able to do over the last 100 years is bring military dentistry up to date, because before the Corps was formed, it was at best ad hoc. Um, and before then, actually non-existent uh, in, in real terms. So it's, it's been a hundred years of progress for, uh, for military dentistry and obviously for the Army, Army uh, Dental Health. The need for field dentists will continue whilst COVID restrictions remain in place, providing vital support to soldiers whose teeth need some tender loving care. Amy Wiltshire, Forces News.